Protesters turned out tonight in support of a water polo coach who says he was fired from a high school in Covina because he's gay. Demonstrators gathered outside a school board meeting demanding that Mitch Stein be reinstated. KKL 9's Juan Fernandez spoke to him tonight. Hug for Stein! Hug for Stein! Students, parents, and even his own daughter came out in support of Mitch Stein. He's the assistant water polo coach who was fired from Charter Oak High School. The reason, he says, because he's gay. Now, I'm just bewildered that this could happen in this day of age. I was raised knowing that I was gay, mm -hmm. and I never thought there was anything wrong with that. And I never thought that someone would have a problem with my dad being gay. According to Stein, a parent wrote a letter to the school's principal saying Stein was unfit to coach and included two pictures from Stein's Facebook page. Stein says he was told he was being fired for posting offensive pictures, one showing him holding a corn dog, the other with two drag queens. Stein says he removed the pictures right away. The district is denying any discrimination occurred. So I absolutely could not discuss any of the details of this matter, but I can tell you it is not a case regarding sexual discrimination, and, but that's all I can say. Stein's been coaching on and off since 1995. He says he came back this time to help coach his daughter and says he never expected he'd be fighting for his job. Our intentions are not to go to court. Our intentions are to do private mediation. My daughter goes to the school. I don't want to sue the school. I want, and I want to coach. The kids miss him terribly, and he wants his job back to be, spend time with his daughter and to be a coach to the kids again. The superintendent says it's a done deal. There's nothing left to discuss. Stein's attorney says they're still hoping for that sit down meeting, but just in case, have a lawsuit ready to be filed after school board elections next month. In Covina, I'm Juan Fernandez, KCAL 9 News.